I'd like to ask you is if you were elected president, what would you do to dismantle these bureaucracies and what would you do to ensure that there weren't two different tracks within the justice system? Yeah, so I think that a lot of Republicans end up making a false promise without knowing that they're making a false promise. They think it's a true promise. They'll say, we're going to come in and reform the bureaucracy. Yeah, good luck. It is impossible. Yeah. Right? Because this is a beast. It's like a creation, a monster unto itself that existed long before we arrived as somebody who ever got elected and long after we're gone. And so I'm not going to make that false promise to say that I can reform that bureaucracy. But what the president can do is actually shut it down. And I think this is where, you know, even Trump, who was the closest we ever got to at least identifying this problem, stopped short because the traditional wisdom is that there are these things called civil service protections, mm. which say that members of the bureaucracy cannot be fired absent some uh, you know, extreme finding of misconduct. Actually, if you read the rules carefully, it doesn't work that way. The way it works is you can't fire individuals, right? You can't have backlash against, you know, any one individual in that bureaucracy at one at a time. But that's why what I'm bringing to Washington, D.C. is mass layoffs, because the civil service protections do not apply on their own terms to mass layoffs. And mass layoffs is what we're bringing to the federal government. And so I think it takes somebody who's willing to break the glass coming in from the outside without inhibition. And I think. Trump brought an element of that. I'm definitely bringing it. But you have to combine that with an actual understanding of the law and the Constitution. And together, that's what it's going to take to shut this thing down. What concerns me about shutting it down, just like stopping it, is getting a resurgence of like the, what they did with the Ba'ath Party in Iraq. Because they went in there, they conquered it, and then they fired them all, and then they formed ISIS. Like, these people have connections with yeah. DARPA, with Boeing. Like, they are the military. And so, like, if we fired them, they just start their own secret government, I feel. You know, I think that it's a, it's not a destination, right? I'm not saying that we all have a party, there's one silver bullet solution, and then we're done. That's how we get to the start line, right? We're not even at the start line right now. We're playing a different game. Come in with some puppet claiming to be the elected official sitting on top of the managerial class. That's a different game. I'm talking about how we get to the start line of at least restoring political power to the people who are actually elected by the governed to actually exercise it. So that's the starting point. You're right, it's like a hydraulic pump or like a water balloon. You squeeze it in one place, it'll pop up somewhere else. But at least with acknowledging the rules of the road being the people who we elect to run the government are actually the ones who ought to run the government. Yeah, this managerial bureaucracy, they'll find their own private sector version of that that emerges or some quasi-governmental version that emerges even in the agencies that exist. Yeah, we need to be watchful of that. But right now we're not even playing the start line of that game what would you yeah. replace it with so so it depends on what the it is if the it is the department of education i'm not going to replace it with anything amen if the it is the fbi i'm going to shut it down and i'm not going to replace it with anything a lot of those functions are already being performed by the u.s marshals by the dea the drug enforcement agency and so you go on down the list that's the reality there are certain other functions like you know that you, you would say have to continue to exist in some form say, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. I said I would shut that down because we haven't had a nuclear power plant built in this country in 35 some odd years because the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is fundamentally hostile to it. In that case, I think you can't reform the culture of that agency. You have to shut it down, but we'd rebuild from scratch an agency that was actually committed to a rational evaluation of the risks and benefits of a given nuclear power plant. So some cases shut it down, it stays shut down, Certain cases, you shut it down and then rebuild something skeletal from scratch to perform the basic function. And then certain other agencies, you know, let's talk about the FDA. Let's talk about the SEC. Let's talk about the U.S. Federal Reserve. I'm talking about a 75% layoff of the people who already work there. And that, I think, will get the job done.